Oldman. Dredge versus Hardened Skills. This is a uh, match as old as time. Not not quite, but it is it is a match that uh, <laughs> happens quite often. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that kid a uh, local tournament grinder? Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't go so far as to say grinder, but yeah, he, but no. he he is he is a, a local who plays in quite a few uh, stores. Yeah, he's a traveler. Yeah, uh, plays at the uh, stores stores closer to him. Also plays down here at GameStorm. Not most Sundays. I'd, I'd say I'd say every every so often on Sundays. Yeah, I think it has to do with his work schedule. There's something along the lines of that. Corey, uh, regular part of the Indiana crew. Yeah, one of the two Indiana crews technically. Yeah, there's two separate Indiana crews <laughs> because there's so many they can't fit in a car. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. That's how that's how you know there's good competition down here when people are willing to drive from the next state over mm -hmm. to play in a weekly event. Yeah. Is that kid on dredge? Looking for fast starts. Yeah. Particularly ones that go wide rather than ones that hit multiple creeping chills. Yeah, um, shipping that one back. That, that one looked pretty rough. I think I yeah. saw an Archimeba and an Amalgam in hand. Yeah. Um, I think the path to victory might in is going to include uh, almost the same kind of hands that we saw the previous dredge player on. Where he just like is able to just like dump a couple creatures on the board in the first like two turns, and then creeping trill plus conflagrate. Yeah, he's trying. He's trying to finish it off with the spells. Yeah. Not so much uh, start on them. Ah, oh, jeez, that, that was rough. Very rough. That looked like five lands. Uh, stinkweed imp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or four lands stinkweed imp and something not so good. Yeah. Uh, notably, he's on the bad stinkweed imp art. Sad. I know. Very sad. That's fine. He's probably on the bad thug, thug art, too. Sad. Very sad. Golgari Thug has one good art Yeah. out of its two arts. Yeah. And for a while, the bad art was, like, only in a dual deck, so it was like, that's fine. And then they reprinted it in the Eternal Masters or whatever it's called. Yeah. This is a this this is a hand I think you have to keep now. Yeah, you can't go down any farther. <laughs> it's already mulliganed one <laughs> because of the Narcomoeba. Yeah. But whatever. You can't really... Is a mold of four better than this? And I, don't, I think the answer is, is on average, no. Actually. Yeah, he has uh, Faithless Looting and two dead cards in his hand, which is bad, but yeah. whatever. Uh, the goal is to looting a uh, ditch, like Amalgam, and a dredger that he he finds here. Yeah. Hey, there it is. Yep, he got there. And Oh, yeah. Yeah, he just found the perfect two cards. He's not, not saying that he's like in it now, but this is the one... This, this is a very, very competitive mold of five. Yes. If there was a way, this is it. Darksteel Citadel Welding Jar Mox Opal. Where are we starting? Is it Ballista on one? He got a better two drop. Ooh, Metallic Mimic. Naming Construct. Oh, oh no. <laughs> That's disgusting. What did he just do? He just. Oh my god. He just affinityed all over him. They're all one ones. Zach Kid, no. I will Dr dump my entire hand on the board. Four, five. Ooh, Ooh creeping, creeping, creeping chill. Creeping chill. We oh we got we got real stuff going on. Yeah, he got a pretty good dredge. Uh, he's gonna it... cathartic reunion. Dump this imp. Yeah. He's gonna get back blood gas. Have prize amalgam trigger set up. He's in he's in pretty reasonable shape actually. Yeah. Any any further prize amalgams won't get hit by this trigger. No, but uh, he's likely to hit some stuff considering he is going at least 10 deep. Yeah. Maybe deep, or probably deeper. Yeah. Yeah, just do it. Just empty yeah, your just, hand. No one, your hand is irrelevant, man. Yeah. <laughs> there's two stack in there. Definitely not going to go. Hey, there's a thug. He's got Ooh. the good thug art. Ooh. That, that's wow. Two, two Narc Amoebas. Those don't trigger yet. Rele oh, no, no, you you don't want to do that yet, just so you know that yeah. your guys trigger later. Is that a creeping chill I saw, or was that another stinkweed imp? Stinkweed imp. Jeez. He's going to get all three stinkweed imps on this cathartic reunion. Uh, he gets third, one more draw. Third draw. Dan, hurry up, Dan, 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 hurry up, Dan, Dan, hurry up, Dan, before they mess up, Dan. The spell says draw three, Dan. Dan, come on. Oh. Darn, am I going to have to run out there? Can you not play Magic and and Judge at the same time? I know you're on like a 10-second delay, but jeez. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, no. Spell is... Oh my gosh. This is so far behind. If he literally does... If Corey does literally anything else... He's just going to draw it? Okay, yeah. that, that That's fine. Fine, yep. That's probably the best way to resolve that. Yeah. Is that I mean, kid he could have could have re Yeah, he could have rewound because there was only one thing done. But... <sighs> I think he drew a land, so... Yeah, that's not too good. Actually, that's probably fine. Yeah, I mean, he has a blood gas here, so it's pretty okay. Dredge loam. Hit another Conflagrate. Loam. Yeah. He gets another dredger in the yard, which is relevant. Well, I mean, he already has the... Why didn't he judge... I mean, unless he wants, needs the lands, he has the thugs in the graveyard. That might be what he's trying to do, because... Get more lands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's got up looting. He's got... Uh, now he has a Conflagrate, which... I mean, he, he had really good odds of hitting pretty yeah. soon. So that might have been what he's trying to set up for. Yeah, I think right now you just dump your hand and just take out as much as you can. Probably the Steel Overseer, that's like big game. Um, he has three cards in hand. I think you just hit two on the Overseer, no, one on the... I'm not sure you should be looting here, but... You don't have to set this up ahead well, of time. Well, here's the that. thing, right? Uh, Corey didn't have a second land, so while he deployed all these things, he can't, like, quote-unquote, level them up. They're just what they are. Yeah. This ballista can start getting bigger soon. Or not the ballista, the hanger back walker. And then now that he has the seal overseer, he's going to be able to do it once per turn. Yeah, I he, I think he really needed to conflagrate there. Yeah, and just get the seal overseer. At least. Yeah. <sighs> Probably hit a walking ballista. No, I think you just hit the the mimic. It's a 2-1. It, oh, it's a 2-1, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. For some reason, I thought it was like a 1-3 or something. That'd be a little good. Yeah. Zach doing some things. Uh, I'm not sure if it's just like the way he prefers to play the deck or I I want to uh, say he's kind of, yeah, he's kind of inexperienced. Well, I, could yeah, be, I, I haven't seen him in a while. But no, no, I, 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 I heard him talking like this was his first time playing this deck. Oh, really? Outside, when I stepped out for a minute. Oh, Throne okay. of Geth. That is very good. Um, I was going to say... Uh, doing some stuff like casting a draw spell and setting aside the cards he wants to dredge instead of doing them one at a time and seeing what he hits. Yeah. Uh, not resolving some of the spells correctly. Yeah. Still on a very powerful deck that, that can let you play despite this, but... Yeah. There have definitely been some mistakes. He has no black mana. No... He hasn't fetched though either, so it's not Yeah, not entire. not like he, he messed that up. It's yeah. just it's just luck now. Oh wow, blood gas and an amalgam. It's pretty good. Doesn't he he has two life in the loams in his hand. So I think he just it, it, I wanna cast loam. Get a black play source. a land. A black source. Yes. Uh ooh, if he can get a black red source specifically. Yeah. And then cast his um <clears throat> cast his conflagrate. Hit the Mimic and the Overseer. Yeah, there's a Blood Crypt I saw. Yeah. You definitely take the Blood Crypt. So you're going to take this... Fe Oof. He's taking fetch lands. He, uh, he I, might he, not have anything to fetch. Yeah. Or, the, or the ones that he wants. Yeah, he needs to He needs to have a Blood Crypt. Ooh, ooh. Oh, no. You can't You can't let him run away with this. Corey's, Corey's going to win off the back of just these... Yeah, you you he there's he'll be pushing on so much more pressure than he is. <clears throat> this game's certainly still not out of reach yet, but yeah, I Zach, he would be Zach, dominantly ahead if he was if there was no overseers in play, no mimic. Yeah, they, yeah, go go ahead do this. He's probably gonna hanger back walker. Probably gonna sack hanger back walker to the throne of Gaff. Yep, proliferate everything else. Get to get two guys. Yep. Block the Narcomibas out of the air. Oh, even better. Shoot those guys down. Don't even let them get through. Yep. What are we sacking the Throne of Geth here? Throne of Geth? Welding Jar? Uh, probably Welding Jar. Yeah, uh, makes Dredge sense. doesn't have any really anything that's going to blow it up in game one. I, Corey might just win here. I, I, could be, I could be wrong, but I think Corey might just have it, actually. Considering he still has Throne of Geth. Yeah. 
I'll tap over. Oh, that's an arcbound worker. It's pretty good. I'm gonna play it. Tap overseer. Uh, sack it to throne of Geth. Put the counters on a walking ballista. Shoot ever all of the blockers out of the way. Get through that. That uh, I'm not counting. Super like I'm not like super counting it, but yeah. that honestly might be lethal. Depending on how Zach blocks here. Corey, he but. can only block one thing, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> right, right. <clears throat> if he chooses not to block a walking ballista, he actually might die. Well, he only has one blocker, so and he has two attacking walking ballistas. Yeah, no, but he also is attacking with a mimic, which is a very tempting thing to block right now. But just takes T it? Take Corey doesn't do anything? Okay, so C Corey, better pilot of this deck than I, I certainly would be. Yeah, he... Certainly did the math and certainly said, did the can't math. kill him. Let me see. He I don't know. That seems like something One, two, two extra damage. Three, four, six extra damage. Shoot him for... I think he had it, actually. It's close. It's very close. Not sure what Zach can do to get himself back into this game. He's very far behind. I think it starts with the conflag. Uh, but I don't know where. I don't know what you want to hit. That deck more salvage looks really Bad. really weak in play. Yeah. Looks like it does nothing. Use it to cast loam, get back some lands. Let's conflag the whole board, please. He doesn't have that many. No, he can't wipe the whole board, but he can he can hit basically all the important stuff. Well, now that he has the Throne of Geth, like, it just becomes way worse. Because no matter what he tries to kill, he's just going to sack to the Throne of Geth. Yeah. And save everything else. So he has to, like, way overestimate. Yeah, by, by like, a, a crap ton. Because he's got Overseer, Worker, yeah. Mim like, uh, the Throne of Geth. Like, too many things. Yeah. That make this math weird. Yeah, there's like no way for him to do the correct play because I don't honestly, other than hitting and hitting his face, there's like no correct play here. Yeah. No matter what he targets for how much damage, he's gonna make it live. Zach is probably dead, even if he can if he doesn't kill a creature here, and I don't know what he can kill. Looking at this, Corey can give three, four. Can give something five counters. Yeah, anything he goes after, he can give five counters, and in the process, still give all of his other guys two counters. Yeah, <laughs> he. That kid is in trouble. <laughs> that means Corey actually also has instant speed win with walking blisters. By giving one two counters and one five counters. Yeah. Where's the conflag going? All of it at you? Is that what that point was? Probably. And then he's going to try to attack and force him to make bad blocks. But there are no bad blocks. Yeah. What are we doing here? Casting, <laughs> flashing back, eluding? Sure. Sure. I'm not sure what cards you can dredge that you care about. Uh, uh, don't creeping chills? Yeah. One. <laughs> there we go. Starting off lucky. Doesn't happen until the end. Zach, please, you can't, you can't, you can't do that in the you middle of a spell. Yeah, you can't resolve things in the middle of a spell. Two, three, four, five. Well, there's one more. Brings him down to two. He really needed to hit a, the last one. Yeah. Right? It's pretty close. Like Zach's deck, almost out of cards. Yeah, I was going to say, his deck's pretty empty, so it was like not not impossible that he didn't hit all of them. Um, Yeah. I think Corey still can win here, though. Yeah, no, I think Zach is very dead. He needs to discard the two imps, right? Yeah. Yeah, Zach also needs to discard the cards. Faithless Looting requires you to discard two cards at the end of its resolution. Is that Dan. kid playing very sloppy right now? Yeah. Dan. 
Dan, please. Dan. Dan, please. Dan, please. Man, if he draws an Arcbound Ravager, it's like 100% dead. Dan, please make Zach discard his two cards as per the resolution of Faithless Looting. Please, Dan. I'm about to go out there and table judge and leave you in here alone because he can't resolve his spells right yeah. now. And apparently Dan can't pay attention. I'm going to call Dan out for oh, a few, it few years. Thank you. Yeah. I love you, Dan. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make fun of you like that. He'll hear that in like four light years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it'll, be, it'll be five years from now that he finally hears it. <laughs> Dan, will, Dan will have just finished his game and finally be like... Oh wow! You're finally, finally piping up about it, aren't you? <laughs> well, he has he has one flying blocker, so he's gonna get in for sure with three of them. Corey, that's a that's a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Zach's just dead. So he's going to get in for 2, 4, 6. But if he proliferates, that's actually more. Yeah. Uh, so he's going to get in for 9 here and then just have, like, way more in Ballista Triggers. Yeah. There we go. Play was... Concede. Yeah. That was... Uh, a little bit awkward to watch. I don't think that would have happened if he would have conflagrated the Steel Overseer right away. Yeah, I he got so many. You have you have to get rid of Overseer. You cannot let Overseer sit there. Yeah, no. It is That's like rule number one. Yeah. All right, we're gonna go to sideboard. Zach Kid, three Ancient Grudge, Absolutely. one Dark Blast. Absolutely. Yep. Two Lightning Axe. Absolutely. One Ravenous Trap. Uh, no. No. Three Damping Sphere. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. Three Nature's Claim. Yes. Two Assassin's Trophy. Mm, that seems hard. Like, possible, but you're already bringing in so much stuff. Yeah. Honestly? I'm, like, mm -hmm. honestly, his board is just, like, all control cards, quote-unquote. Yeah, he's, like, very, very aggressively hating on this matchup, it seems like. Like, not intentionally. Yeah. A lot of these cards do a lot of other things, but he's... Happens to get a very great sideboard against this matchup. Yep. All right. Over on Corey's side, one spell skite. Yeah, I think that's coming. One in. evolutionary leap. Yeah, he has to know that he's gonna have to grind a little bit more, mm -hmm. and that card is amazing at that. One graph digger's cage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two relic of progenitus. Absolutely. Two Karn sign of Urza. I'm not sure about that one. Probably not. I think that's for, like, the control matchups. Yeah. Or mid-range, maybe. Uh, two Dismember. No. No. Two Damping Sphere. Also no. Four Nature's Claim. I uh, say yikes for me, dog. Yeah, I'm going to say no. Uh, he's not that aggressive to where you need them to be like, I need to blow up my own stuff to gain life. Yeah, no. And you could guess that Zach is also bringing in Nature's Claims, so mm. you're probably going to gain life off of those. Yeah. Damn. From what I see, it looked like he brought in five cards, which I'm assuming is the first five. Yeah, I, that that has to be it to me. I didn't quite see how many Zach brought in, but it could be anywhere from zero to fifteen. <laughs> uh, My, fourteen. Uh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm not bringing in Ravenous Trap. Yeah, that that does nothing. But Damning Spear actually, you know, Sometimes. prevents him vomiting his hand. Yeah. Not that that matters very much, but yeah. Yeah. He's either going to vomit it on, like, turn one or not at all, so... Having a Damping Spear isn't going to change that. Hmm. <laughs> All right, we're going to have Zach Kid on the play here. Uh, I see three conflagrates in his hand. <laughs> I'm going to ship that one back. Yeah, I'm glad he's not afraid to mulligan, though. Yeah. That's his, his play is a little loose, 
but I'm a, I'm glad he's not afraid to mulligan when yeah. he's playing. Yeah, that, that, that tends to happen with people who are on new decks. They're just afraid to uh, mulligan. I don't want to wanna mulligan this because I just want to see how it's going to work. Like, yeah, you, I don't know if, if I you are can... Aware that the, if you are aware that the hand is bad, yeah. don't go... I want to see if it works. Yeah, or I don't. I, you also don't want to go. Well, I don't know if this deck can mulligan very well, so I'm just not gonna mulligan a bad hand. And it's like, well, if it's a bad hand, yeah. you're just gonna lose anyway. So you might as well try for something better. I guess this is a good time to bring up the uh, play test mulligan rules for those who don't know. <laughs> yeah, uh, they are more than likely not gonna happen at all. Uh, they are definitely happening at the mythic. Championship London. Right, but that is the that's the test. Yeah, that's the test. And hopefully they don't or not hopefully, I guess. Just if they aren't good, they don't get implemented. And I I I I hope that they stick to that. Yeah. So uh, it the the thing is is so you start with seven cards like normal. And then if you decide to mulligan, you, you draw shuff, seven. You draw seven cards. And then if you decide to keep your seven, you put you put as you put cards back on you shuffle cards back in your library equal to the number of times you've mulliganed. So if you've mulliganed once, you draw seven, put shuffle one card back into your deck. It, is it shuffle back in? I believe so. I thought it put... I believe it's put them on the bottom. Put them on the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you put them on the bottom. Yeah. Uh, so so a mold of five, still five card hand, but, but you, to look you at seven. start with seven bottom. and you put the two worst ones back. Bottom Bottom card? Yeah. Okay, so you put them on the bottom. So, the thing that a lot of people are going crazy about is they're like, well, this makes controlled, or not controlled decks, complex hand systems so consistent even on a mulligan. And it's true. It, they, they do become more consistent, but every mulligan rule ever has helped combo decks become more consistent, and every mulligan rule ever has had people cry about how it's going to break magic. Completely, and it, and it never does. It never has. I, now, this is, of course, the the closest we've ever come. But they've all been the closest we've ever come. Right. I I could see it happening, but uh, I think I think that uh, the big thing that does that it definitely does help is ley lines. Yeah, uh, ley lines could, will be much stronger hate pieces. Yes, because now you get to see you know on a mold. Dang. Damn. Yeah, he wanted dredgers, but I mean, sure, sure. mill double creeping chills yeah. a good start too. Yeah, I'll just dome you for six for one mana. <laughs> you thought bolt was good, <laughs> colorless bolt, yeah. colorless double bolt, double helix. Why don't they print that into standard? Yeah, it seems colorless. Good. Ancient stirring. Only sorcery speed. Grabs the, grabs the cage. It's pretty good. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't really do much here, but... Uh, ooh. ooh! A little late now. That ancient grudge not going to do much. Yeah. Cannot be cast from the graveyard while... Uh, Graph Digger's cage is on the battlefield. Sadly, because that's one of his best ways to destroy Graph Digger's cage. Yeah. I'm not sure what he's got hanging out in hand. I see that I we know about the imp. Yep, is that a blood gas? There is at least one blood gas. Uh, yeah, that's not very good. He's not. He doesn't have the right lands. That is a thing that happens a lot with that deck. Yeah, not having is the right you, lands. Yeah, you do not have black black. Because a lot of the times you have like red green source. Yeah. And you're just like ugh. Second play for turn, Harden Scales. So this is a pretty good turn for Corey. It's a, it's a nice little setup turn. Hey. Assassin's Trophy. <sighs> fucking a card that will never come back. <laughs> Can fly great. fly great. Wish he could cast that. He's going to play Dakmore Salvage here. That, the reason he got it was so that way he could... Uh, Eventually start playing <laughs> these cards. Yeah, he can cast his Blood Gas from hand starting next turn. Get in for one. Put you to 13. Got him. Notably, Got him. notably, uh, crippling chill does not get stopped by Graf Digger's Cage. No, but um, 
Corey's still in very strong shape. Yeah. It is, it is pretty unlikely that Zach flips two more crippling chills anytime soon. Yeah. And since he doesn't have any kind of clock... It's not actually that bad, even yeah. if it does. Yeah, even if he flips, like, one, it's like, all right, whatever. There's the there's the Ravager. Drop a turn. Drew land. Plays that thing. Seems not great. Doesn't attack well. Can't block at all. Oof. Relic 2. Back up. Ooh. Ooh Lanoir, Lanoir Reborn. Reborn. This deck gets to play a bunch of sweet lands. Yeah. Ooh, is that a foil Alara re relic? I, I also have some of those. You need one more, do you not? Uh, to have a full playset, yes, but <laughs> I don't actually need a playset. <laughs> I only play two. <laughs> I have a third one for no reason, basically. Attack you for two. How did Nark come into play? It came in before he played the cage. Yeah. Since the turn before he played the cage. Yep. <clears throat> Alright, good stomping ground. Now he has a green source. Not that it really matters that much. He can play Life in the Loam if he draws it. Uh, doesn't get much. I mean, I guess it gets to dredge still, right? So... Oof. Ancient Grudge off the top. I guess that's step one in yeah. trying to get back in this game. But And he does have a dredger in his hand. No way to get it into the graveyard just yet. He's far off from uh, discarding to hand size. <laughs> yeah. But he's going to get to Ancient Grudge that, which is an important one. Yep. Next turn, he's going to get to... Flash it back. Yeah, I mean, Actually, he, he could, he could do it right now, flash yeah. it back right now. Hit... Arcbound Ravager is probably the best one. Yeah, do it now while there's nothing like crazy to put all the counters on. Yeah. Playing with good art, Ancient Grudge. Thank you very much. He has both arts, I think. I know. <laughs> Sad. I think the pro correct play was to attack with Blood Gas first. No. Yeah, because it was the Arcbound was a two-two. So he either if he blocks it. It, oh, uh, it'll I see, die, I see, I see. or he tries to like he can't move, like yeah, he move can't, the counters and in response. Yeah, he can't do that. Like he knows that the ancient. Oh no, he had it in his hand, right? So I think the correct play was to do that before he did literally anything else. Yeah, before he ancient grudged the first time. Right. So he can go grudge, grudge that. Still in response, grudge that. Yep. Although that looks pretty bad if he goes sack worker. To Arcbound Ravager. Okay. In response, uh, grudge that, grudge this. And he goes, uh, sack that to Worker. Yeah. Get the counters before your grudge resolves the first time. Sure. Now, now my guy eats your dude. There, there, there were some lines that beat it, I think. But, you yeah. know. Zach. In trouble. Really needs to draw live. Yeah. Tree corn looking very weak. Hey, that that's good. Playing it out. Yeah. I mean, I mean he's not gonna not play it, right? Yeah. It, it does have death touch, so. Or uh, pseudo death touch. It's not quite death touch, but right. yeah. Horizon can be. We cracking? Might as well, right? Ooh, crashing in. I mean, all those counters are gonna go somewhere, right? Yeah. So. It, <laughs> Doesn't actually matter. What is going on? What is going on? I don't know. I want to see Corey draw a card first off Horizon Canopy, to be honest. He might have lethal this turn if he draws the correct card off of it. So not going for that sound, seems very wrong to me. 
Yeah, I think because you can sack all three of these dark steel citadels too. Yeah, that's that's part of it. So I, I think you like tap one, crack the canopy, see if you draw some crazy shit. Because you could have drawn like walking ballista and like actually finish the game there. Yeah, I don't know. Deck's at twenty one, so it's it'd be pr pretty hard to twenty one him, but. I don't know, this deck does some crazy things with Archpon Ravager and Hardened Scales in play. Yeah. <clears throat> like, he might actually just have this here, and I, I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Add six counters. Eleven. Eleven power guy. Yep. Add some more counters. He's twelve. Thirteen. Oh, yeah, 13. he's dead, right? Damn near it. That's nine plus two more. <laughs> 